Begin the installation process by googling Mary TTS, and select the first result. Navigate to the Downloads section and click to download the zip package. It's a good idea to create a new folder in Windows for all your Mary-related files. After the download is finished, simply extract the zip package inside your folder. Mary has one voice installed right out of the box. If you want to get some extra voices, you can either download them directly with Mary TTS Component Installer, or if you prefer offline installations like we do, you can download them manually using GitHub. To download the voices manually, go to the Mary GitHub page and open the download folder. There is an XML file that contains the links to the voices. I found that the Google Docs links seemed to work more reliably, so you might want to download those. You can download as many of these voices as you want. We will take several of them, but to save your valuable time, let's speed up the video. After the download is finished, we'll copy both the Mary installation folder and the voices folder, to our offline computer using a USB stick. Then when the copying is finished, we'll extract the packages. To install the voices you simply copy the lib folder inside each voice and paste it to the Mary TTS folder. We won't make you watch us copy all of the voices so let's jump to the next step. Now we are ready to actually run the program. Open up the bin folder and start the Mary TTS server bat file first. After the server is running, you can start the Mary client bat file. Open Mary TTS is now running and you can select the voices you just installed from the drop down menu here. Select output type to be audio, so that you can hear the results. Then simply click play and wait for the voice to speak. Welcome to the world of speech synthesis. Let's try a couple of different voices here. Welcome to the world of speech synthesis. Welcome to the world of speech synthesis. If you want to save a speech file to your computer, you can click on the save button here. Select the audio format you prefer from the file type drop down. Now you have a standard audio file that you can open in pretty much any player. Thanks for watching and see you next time on fastertutorials.com.